아세안의 디자인은 고유의 전통 소재와 기법을 기반으로 발전해 왔습니다. 이제는 젊은 인재들의 신선한 감각으로 새로운 아세안을 만듭니다. 새로운 디자인으로 새로운 아세안을 만드는 5개국 7개 기업을 소개합니다. I'm Dan Kurslina from Makota Crystal from Brunei. Uh, Makota Crystal s i n b e r h a t is a glass blowing company. Actually, we are the sole um, and pioneer glass blowing company from Brunei. In terms of products, we offer 10 product categories. The first one is Brunei traditional, where we incorporate the, um, the elements of Brunei traditions into our artistic pieces. We also have a various uh, variety of bowls and buses. We also make fruits line. And then we also have home and office products where not, uh, this product line is not only used for uh, decorative purposes but also it can be used as an office wear. When we talk about the characteristics and trends of product design in Brunei, using locally sourced materials for the gift and souvenirs and also a bit of home and decor, Brunei product design is still leaning towards um, highlighting the features of Brunei areas. For example, our well-known Jong Sarat uh, is a gold and silver thread which is made into a high-grade silk. Uh, traditionally and at the present moment is still used as um, our clothes wear. But now the product is extended to a daily use product. For example, it's made into clutches and uh, tissue boxes. When we talk about product design, um, especially in ASEAN, Handicraft is basically a very special subject to Southeast Asia. In summary, in terms of the prospect of product design for Brunei d a s a n a when we look at not just the handicraft but the given souvenirs, home and decor, locally made products using uh, locally sourced materials. So overall, I believe that um, the design industry from our neighboring countries will grow. The local handicraft will, will benefit if there's more collaboration, not just by the small businesses, but between the government and small businesses, so that the business can be commercialized, at the same time preserving the skill um, and knowledge of local know-how. I'm Budi Man Ong. I am the founder and the creative director of Ong Chen Kuang. Uh, the company I started in 2008. Our products first and foremost is about material investigations. The first thing we do when we start a product development is try to understand the intrinsic quality of the material and we can use this to shape the final piece uh, so it was not forced. That's why we never start a project with drawings. Material selections are also very crucial. We have a collection called Alur uh, that we have since 2008. Uh, 12 years uh, since we created the products and they are still doing very well now. Um, the material we use is uh, zipper. Zipper uh, is not the material you associate with lighting, but it works for lighting. The quality of light s that shine through zipper are just so different, so unique and uh, so beautiful. And the added uh, surprise element, uh, when people find out that the products are made out of zippers, just added uh, layer to our products and it creates such a nice story. s All of our products are made by hand. There's just uh, some quality that in handcrafted product that cannot be replicated by any machine. <laughs> Uh, being based in Bali also helps with that because uh, handcraft is just uh, instilled in day-to-day -day life in Bali. It's in the uh, uh, ceremonial uh, practices and also religious practices. Um, Bali also just a mixing part of different uh, cultures and different nationality. I am very proud of who I am. I think it's very important for a designer to be proud of who they are. because that's the essence of the person and that's become the philosophy, the identity of the company he or she is in. With the fast information that's happening now due to the internet, the trends that are happening in Indonesia are pretty much mirroring the trends that are happening in the world. Still, Indonesia is very famous for the handcraft products, so this plays strongly in the trend that's happening here. The design industry in Indonesia has changed for the better in the past decade or so. The market is better than before. 
they are better informed. The new generation one team will end up appreciating uh, good, well-designed and well-made products. For me, as long as the demand is there, the prospect of design industry in Indonesia for that in Asia will be good. Hello everyone, my name is Emily Jennifer. I was born and raised in Kampung Batulomoyan, South Kenya, Sabah, Malaysia. I first started doing bamboo weaving craft in 1997 when I was 16 years old after seeing my mother passionately doing it. Later in 2005, my company Seri Elf Enterprise was founded. I came by the brand Kelarai by Emily C to promote my products in the market. Each of our motif tell in unique stories and cultural narrative behind them. Today we're using our bamboo product with other material to create more contemporary and functional products such as handbag, seminar bag and so on. Also our products are something uh, that people can wear on everyday basis. We believe we can make a difference and generate income through quality and craft products. My name is Baskin and I'm the managing director of this organization. Thermoside Malaysia has been actively involved in R&D functions to produce specific composite resins to be used in various sectors in Malaysia. We have successfully managed to make a composite resin from non-biodegradable material like plastics, rice husks, rubber, etc. This Materials are collected from industries, from manufacturing companies, from landfills and many other areas. These materials are then brought to the centre where it is cleansing in the first place. Secondly, it is heat treated and then they are combined together. A molecular combination takes place and you end result is you get the product in granular form into resin. The composite resin that we have is called thermoside. It has many grades, many colors, and this resin can be injection molded, can be extruded, can be rotationally molded, and uh, can even be thermoformed. Heavy use of this is now being concentrated for the building industry where you will do all other kind of uh, products that are usually made from timber. Thermoside is absolutely free from timber. No element of timber goes into uh, thermoside because we do not want to cut a single tree for use into our products. We at Thermoside have a vision that this technology should be promoted globally and uh, the use of non-biodegradable material can be put to good use, especially for the low and middle income group. It will turn out to be a money spinner for this individuals and this category of people. And uh, we hope the people across the globe will support us and will drive this effort of ours to green the planet. Thank you very much. ဒီလုံခန်းကိုထောက်ကွာ 
အတုံးပြုပြီးတာကျင်းနေဟောင်များကိုလေကုန်ချမ်းအဖြစ်အတုံးပြုပြီးပကန်ခေတ်အမျိုးသမီးပလွေမုတ်ဟာကုန်းပ